Welcome to today's show. Today I'll be breaking down the top five offensive linemen of the 2019 free agent class. Um, this is a group that has uh, all young guys in it. None of them are reached at the age of 30 yet. Um, some of them are a little bit injury prone, some of them are a little bit more durable. Let's begin. Number five on this list is offensive tackle, uh, Jawan James. Um, he played for the Dolphins his past couple seasons. He's 27 years old. This past season, he started 15 out of 15 games, only missed one game. Uh, but his best years were in 2014 and 16, where he played the whole year. Um, this is a guy that uh, I really think that um, in certain situations, he can be the starter. Um, and then in some situations, he can be the swing tackle. Uh, it really depends on what's going on with the team. And I think he would also do better with a team that's more run heavy instead of pass heavy. He's a much better run blocker than pass blocker and uh, I do expect to get about a three to four year deal. Number four on this list is center Mitch Morris of the uh, Chiefs. Um, he's 27 years old, only missed five games this year, started 11 out of 11. Uh, his best year was in 2016 where he started the whole year. Um, this is a guy that can play both guard and center. I love his flexibility. Um, on the offensive line and uh, I think this is a guy that um, you know depending on the team can either go in as a guard or go in the center and you know a situation arises on the center or uh, of regards uh, starting position he can fill in and uh, really provide some solid depth to a team. Uh, number three on this list is uh, offensive tackle Daryl Williams of the Panthers he was on IR for most of the year, only played one game the first game. Uh, his best year was in 2017, started the whole year. This is one of the more uh, injury, prone, pr excuse me, injury prone players uh, in this list, but um, this is a guy that's also the youngest at 26. And the good news for him being so young is he can further develop his body to be more durable and uh, withstand um, injuries and stuff like that. Um, this is a guy that I expect to, um, depending on the team, start at right tackle or start at left tackle. Um, he's more of a tackle, can't really start at guard or center, not his thing, but uh, this is a guy that's one of the better uh, offensive tackles available in this free agent class. Uh, number two on this list is offensive tackle Trent Brown. I love his size at 6'8". Um, I love really tall offensive linemen. Um, makes it extremely difficult for any defensive lineman to attack when the guys are so huge um, to push him around you really just can't do it um, he started the whole year for the Patriots won a Super Bowl ring with them um, and he is a guy that's going to be one of the top uh, tackles on the left hand side for years to come uh, number one on this list is center Matt Paradis of the Broncos um, he's the oldest guy at 29 years old uh, started nine out of nine games, only missed six games, um, which is more than you want, of course, but um, played very well. This is the best offensive lineman in this free agent class, by my uh, opinion, um, and absolutely will just go into a team, long term contract, and really provide um, structure on that offensive line right in the middle. And he's also a smart player that can really bring. Uh, the whole group of that offensive line together and create some good chemistry so they can push guys around and, and create some, some space for running backs and protect the quarterback for longer periods of time. Um, those are my top five offensive linemen in this uh, free agent class of 2019. Uh, go ahead and check out my top 100 list. Um, I'll bring, break down every single player that I've broken down out of 177 qualifying players, brought them down to 100, and I break down uh, their skills, uh, their stats of this past season, their best years, and what I expect uh, which teams to go after him and uh, his potential for the following year. Uh, thank you.